Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. Today I'm going to walk through a sample question for the Tableau certification test. It's already out there online, so I'm not revealing anything, but I want to walk you through it because it's a little bit tricky or can be tricky. The question is, what percent of the total profit do the top 10 customers by sales represent? So I have the customer name listed here. I've got the profit here. And what I want to do is I'm going to sort this. I'm going to sort this by sales. And come down here to sales. We want it in descending order because we want the top 10. OK. So this is profit. So let's add sales just so that it's clear what's going on. Okay, so now we've got, just reorder this, we've got sales. Here's the top 10 sales. Now what we want to do is we want to calculate what percent of profit do these guys represent. Now there's two ways to get there. One thing we can do is come under profit and we'll do add a table calculation. We're going to use a this is going to use a secondary because we want to do a running total of the profit by customer name. We're going to add a secondary calculation so that it is the percent of total. Okay. That doesn't look like it's going to be, okay, there we go, down. Percent of total, okay. So we're going to add profit here just so it's a little bit easy to see what's happening. You can see it's negative. And what you can do is you can scroll down to the top 10 item, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And there you go. There's your answer, 14%. Well, that works great to answer that particular question. But what about in the real world? All right, so if you come under customers, Let's filter using, oops, that's not what I wanted. We're going to edit the filter. We're going to show the top 10 by sales, all right? Because that's what the question really wants. Click OK. Now, the pro I'm going to hide this because I don't want that there. Now, the problem is it's going to show you 100% sales because this calculation is just based on the fields that you see in here. We know that's not right. So another way to get that, if this is what you were going to do in, in the workplace, is we're going to create a new calculated field. We're going to call this field um, profit share, for lack of a better word. And what we want to do is we want to calculate first what is the total. We're doing the squiggly lines because this says forget about all the other filters being applied. Here's profit. So we're saying, what is the total profit across everything regardless? Oops. And you have to, it's not capitalized, it's very particular. That's going to give you the total profit. Next, what we want to do is we want it to calculate. We're going to add a second element to this. So that's the denominator. On the top, we want to have... We're going to have the running sum of profit. So we want to take this running value and divide it by the total profit. Now what you're going to see down here is it's going to say you can't have aggregate and non-aggregate or aggregate or constant when the table calculations are multiple data sources. The way to get around that is we're going to just put a max. It works to put a min in front of the, this is a level of detail calculation, and that causes some problems. Let's see, what is going on here? Yeah, it didn't solve that problem. Oh. So the running sum has to have a formula inside it. And this needs to have a, needs to make this an aggregate as well. So if we hit OK, now we put the profit share 
change the format so you can see that it's a percentage 14 percent all right let's get rid of the customer filter and you can see that these values are the same it's just when we apply the filter this percentage is off of the total that's visible and then this is using a level of detail calculation let's take another look at that it's doing two things first it's creating the level of detail calculation and then we're taking the running total of the profit which is what you're expecting to do and because this is an aggregate uh, level of detail is going to give each row the same value and that's where you get the it's a non-aggregate value and so to make it an aggregate value you add the max it's a little trick the top 10 customers account for 14 percent of the profits thank you for watching please subscribe and leave comments and likes thanks a lot